What else do we need to add? Um, today, New Justin, we're going to need today's going to be a heart rate day. And so today, I lost, I lost your voice. Uh, I saw a video with uh, you're just going to need a, a dowel or something to hold on to. It can be a broom, it can be a towel, just something to get your arms moving if you want to. That's it today. And some water, especially if it's 85 degrees where you're at. Good morning. I'm having an issue of muting some people, so I don't know if it's uh, whoever was talking. I was unable to mute them. That's why they were. Uh, so I don't know. Sometimes that happens where some people they have to mute themselves, and I'm unable to mute them. So, okay. I mute. Uh, I did send out something in the chat. So, okay. That's good. We'll work with that. Sometimes that happens for whatever reason. Yeah, that's kind of odd, isn't it? Yeah. So good morning, everyone. I hope you can hear me okay. Um, I'm covering for Angie this morning. She is doing something fun, I think, out west. I think she's skiing or doing something like that. So she invited me to cover her classes this morning. So today we're going to do uh, interval training, which means we're going to work hard for a period of time and then let our heart rates come down and then work hard for a period of time and let our heart rate, rates come down. So it's interval training. You get to work as hard as you want to. These are going to be a, a series of exercises that we're going to repeat three times for a given amount of time. All you need today is you can, you don't need anything if you don't want to, but I like to use a dowel or a walking stick or a broom handle. That just helps get those arms involved a little bit. That's perfect. Yeah. So a walking stick. Um, I did have a broom until I found a walking stick or you can use a towel and hold that towel tight, but just something that helps you really work on the hands a little bit because we'll think about opening fingers while we're moving. Let's see what's going on here. Walk, oh, yeah, say, yeah, thanks for putting that in the chat. I'm hoping I'm, I'm loud enough. Is everyone here okay when I'm back here? I can hear you so. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, okay, good. Thumbs great. Good. Great. I'm in Michigan in my basement. Otherwise, I wish I was in Florida. <laughs> it's great to see everybody with the new year. That's awesome. Uh. Who's this little broad? She's Jenny, I think. Jamie. 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 Yep. You're, I'm covering for Angie today. And then I'm also covering for Mindy tomorrow and Mindy on Friday. So if you attend all the classes, you're going to get sick of me this week. Everybody's on vacation but me. Did anybody see me my class in Florida last week before uh, before Christmas? I was actually in Florida. My parents just moved there full time. So I helped them move in over Christmas. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday and stayed active. That's always the hard part during the holidays, is staying moving. We've got a few minutes. If you just going down, uh, get your walking stick out or a dowel. We're going to be stretching out 
in sitting and then in a little bit of standing and then we're gonna go right into our workout. Um, I didn't have a chair, believe it or not, at my house. So I'm using my husband's lifting bench. Well, we've got a few minutes left. Who's on here? Good group. All right. And hopefully the Wi-Fi stays good for everybody. Yeah. Don't be. There'll probably be several that'll jump on at the last minute. Yesterday, yeah. there was 30, 32 people who are pre-recorded. So awesome. Hey. I love it. Yeah. Those numbers are great. Yeah. We've got to keep moving, all of us. Yeah. The numbers are good because you teachers are so dedicated. When I get on, uh, I'm inspired and my, uh, uh, my happiness level goes up. So uh, thank you for doing what you do. Well, that's really nice to hear. We, we love it. We love it. There's a happiness level on our side too. So I appreciate those words. It's always nice to hear, but we, we love doing what we do too. Feel very blessed to have the opportunity to reach so many people. Twenty-four, beautiful. We're getting there. Let's see where we are. Time. Got about four minutes. If you just joined us today, we're going to be doing interval training. So working on getting that heart rate up. Again, you get to decide how hard you work. Um, but I'm pretty passionate about the importance of aerobic training, and we don't do it often enough, including myself. And I always like doing aerobic training with a group. So we're in a group today. So I decided that we would we would do that. So really, all you need you don't even really need it, but if you have a dowel or a walking stick or something to hold, like a towel to hold in your hands, just to encourage you to get your hands involved and your arms involved today. Getting the arms involved really helps increase your heart rate. Um, also helps us move bigger. And I'm gonna monitor, I got a new present at Christmas, a heart rate monitor. So I'm trying out my new, my new monitor today, see if I can get my heart rate up. Um, all the exercises can be done in a chair. And so I'll be going back and forth between standing and sitting. So everything can be done. We can adapt it for either or. So that's really all you need and definitely some water. So good to see everybody after the holidays. I know I'm excited to kind of get back to a little bit of a routine. A little bit, a little bit. All right, I have two minutes, two minutes. So water, if you are someone who tends to sweat, you might want a, uh, a towel. Um, it's 64 degrees in my basement, so I probably <laughs> will not need a towel. It's a little chilly. You are in the right spot if you were expecting Angie. So you're still in the right spot today. We love Angie. She's been a great colleague of mine for a long time. So I'm happy that she asked me to cover for her. 
She's an amazing person, amazing individual. I've learned a lot from her. All the, all the teachers are great. All right, let's see where we at. 37, people starting the new year out. Great, that is awesome. Okay, it's 10 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and mute everyone, and you guys enjoy your session. All right. Okay. There, everybody hear me okay? Someone give me some thumbs up. All right, thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, Happy New Year. Uh, glad to be back um, for exercise. Uh, my name is Jamie. I'm a physical therapist, and I teach at Central Michigan University in their physical therapy program. I have a dear passion for working with people who have Parkinson's disease. I've got a lot of experience. If you don't know me, um, if you go to our Saturday, the Michigan Parkinson's Foundation Saturday classes, you'll see some of our CMU students learning how to be great therapists um, and how to work with you all with Parkinson's disease. So very, very passionate. Angie is on vacation this week. So she asked me to uh, lead an exercise class today. So today we are going to be working on intensity intervals. So again, the goal would be to get that heart rate up while still moving big and still moving with vigor. We're gonna integrate some of the power moves in our exercises. So if you have a walking stick or some kind of dowel that you can use to move and get those arms involved with, that would be perfect. You don't need it necessarily, but it is helpful to help get that heart rate up. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to walk through each of the exercises uh, in our warm-up. So that's going to be our warm-up is that we're going to go through nine, nine exercises. And we're going to warm up with those so you know what's coming. We're going to work hard for one minute. And then you get to do something lower intensity for 30 seconds. And then we're going to go to the next exercise and work hard for a minute. And then do something really low intensity for a rest. And we're just going to go back and forth with that. Um, for We'll see if we can get through three rounds today. Um, the goal is to get that heart rate up, but still work on moving big and with vigor. And I know you can do it. So the first exercise we're going to start warming up with, and those of you in chairs that you prefer to sit into your chair, these can all be done in your chair. We'll just adapt it. So we're going to go through all nine exercises just to show you. That'll be our warm up, and then we'll get right to it. So for our first exercise is going to be the sit to stand, one of my favorites. So if you're in a chair, your sit to stand, it's just going to be up and pushing forward and up. If you're standing, go ahead with me right now. You're going to lose my head just for a second here. Actually, let me move my camera back a little bit. We're going to be going up. So let's just do five of these just to warm up. Nice and slow reach and down. And reach open those hands and keep going. I'm just going to change my view here. There we go. So I can make sure that I'm in the camera. So sit to stand, up, reach up, and down. That feels good. Open those hands when you stand up. A few more. That's going to be our warm up. Woo. Good. All right, our second warm up. Just gonna move my camera again. I thought I had this figured out. Sorry about that. Just gonna move it up. It's gonna be a push twist. So you're gonna take that dowel and you're gonna shift your weight and push and twist. Right now, let's just stretch. So push and twist, looking behind you, come to the center, push and twist. Push and twist. If you're seated, it looks just like this. Push and twist. I'm going to do most of it to stand. Push and let's just stretch. We're not in a hurry. 
I'm keeping my fingers open. So just squeezing with my thumb and twist. That feels fantastic today. All right, the next exercise that will be in that is we're going to do a step up. So you can take as big a step as you want, but let's just stretch here. Arms overhead and back. A stretch. Kind of a lunge pattern, kind of doing a lunge. Really thinking about arms overhead. Alternate legs. You can hold it. It's a little bit of a balancing act to hold it. And I can already tell my breath is increasing. Feels good just to move. Open those hands. Good. The next one is going to be high knees. Now, if you have a chair, you can hold on and do high knees. You can also take that dowel and work on high knees. But I want these really exaggerated. Notice how they don't have to be real high, and you can just march in place. You can even use your stick to march in place. You can also really think about high. I'm really shifting my weight one side to side. That's going to be our fourth activity. But again, do what you need to do. If you just need a little bit of support or you're just marching in place, that is perfectly fine. Woo, I hope you're feeling warmed up. All right, our next one is gonna be jumping jacks. So if you can do jumping jacks, great. You can push that overhead if you're in your chair. It can look like this. If you're not a jumping jacker, you can switch it or you can walk it out. Lots of different reasons. So let's do 10 of these. You can push that over. So a modified jumping jack. Should feel like your heart rate's getting up a little bit. Just working that heart a little bit. Good. All right. Our exercise number six is a power rock. If you're seated, you're going to reach over to center, over to center. If you're standing, up, center, up, center, up, center, up, center. Just a couple of these here. You can squat as deep as you want. So you can really go down or you can just bend your knees slightly, whatever works. You want the challenge is about being able to move so that your heart rate gets up. If it's too complex, make it simpler. All right. Our seventh exercise in our round is going to be a foot. So we're going to go down. Now you can take this wherever you want. If you're seated, it's down, up, down, up. If you're standing, Go as far as you want to. Up, if you can hit that toe, good. Or maybe you're hitting your thigh. You're going up, a little bit of a squat if you can tolerate it. Working big muscles makes the heart rate go. So does using those arms. Good. My breath. I am starting to work. Okay, so that will be the uh, seven, the eight. Again, we're gonna do just squats out, out, and out. Now, if you've got a chair, you can touch your bum. Touch it and push up. Touch it and push up. If you don't wanna go down that far, just a mini squat is good. If you're in your chair, you're going forward and up again, forward and up. So we're going to squat, touch that bump to that chair. So squat up, nice and slow. We're just warming up. 
hopefully you feel like you're warming up. Kind of see where are you with each of these exercises. Good. And then our last one is going to be taking steps. And you're going to work on, see how my hands, my fingers are open. So grabbing that dowel or that towel, kind of between your thumb, I don't really even have to close my hands. So for this one, we're going to step, push, and step, and really work. This is all about the hands push. So let me see those fingers. Push. They should be right forefront, right in that camera. Push. Good. If you're seated, it looks like this. Thinking really hard about those fingers. Push. And then I might change it where we say step to the side and bring those fingers. Side. So the, the hard part is this push. We want a lot of vigor. Woo! All right. So those are the nine exercises. Those are the nine exercises that we're going to go through, and I will talk you through each of those. All right. Let's um, just do some quick stretching. Arms up and overhead with that dowel. Just stretch. Want to make sure we have enough time for this. This is going to take us all the way through our session today. Now, your high intensity exercise, I just showed you all nine of those. Your low intensity for your rest is going to be a side step, or you can march in place, or you can just shift in place, but we want you to keep moving. All right, I generally do just a nice, slow, Side step. So that's the interval. So work hard for one minute. And then this is your slow, bring your heart rate down, catch your breath. Okay? All right, I've got my timer here. We are going to start. Four, three, two, one. We're starting with sit to stance. Here we go. Sit to stance. One minute work here. So pace yourself. If you're seated, seated, this is what it looks like. Working for one minute. We call the bird cage. One minute. We use traditional markers onto that frame. We put them in a scan. So now we've obtained a scan. I can hear somebody's TV. I'm not sure if everyone's muted. I think we got it. Thank you. You're at 30 seconds. Pace yourself. You get a break in 20 seconds. Whoo, work it up into getting your heart rate up. We got a long way to go. Got 10 seconds. And then we're going to be going that low intensity for 30. All right, 35 seconds. Take some nice deep breaths. You'll be feeling it soon enough. If you don't feel it right now, you will be. Our next one is the push twist, but we've got 18 seconds. Let's take that. Catch your breath. We've got 10 seconds. This is the push twist. We're going to be starting that push twist. Four, three. So this is work hard now. Here we go. Work hard. Lots of vigor, lots of intensity, harder than you normally would. I'm opening my hand at that end. If I'm seated, looks like this. We just want to keep moving. If you need to slow it down, you go right ahead. We've got three rounds. We're going to try to get through. We're at 30 seconds right now. Whew. Should feel like that heart rate is going up. We're looking on that scale of 1 to 10. 10 being, yeah, I need to sit down. I can't hardly breathe. We want to be working. 
six, seven, and eight. But we'll get there. Here's our rep. Woo. We want to keep that heart rate up. You're doing great. I see some great movement out there. Excuse me. Our next one, take those nice deep breaths. Take a drink of water if you need it. We're going to be really happy having these 35 second low intensity movements. Our next one is that lunge step overhead. So step and push. The farther you go with that lunge, it can be this. That's okay. The more that you lunge, the more those legs are going to work. If you're seated, it just looks like you're taking a step going overhead. So stepping, keep going, we're at 30 seconds. The lower you go, or the bigger step you take, the harder those legs work. Woo. You've got 20 seconds. If you've got to make it last, just lower that intensity a little bit. I can feel my heart rate going up. You've got 10 seconds here before we go to low stepping. You can do it. Woo! We got 35 seconds. I'm happy for that. Take some nice deep breaths. Woo. I see some great movement. If you're seated, you can step side to side. You can just move your arms. Is your low intensity? I'm going to go back to standing. All right, we've got high knees next. So that looks like this, or marching in place, or holding on, or sitting. So high knees. I'm going to do kind of the high version. Think about nice, big. Keep those feet wide. If you're holding on, that's okay. If you're seated, it can look like this. Or if that you don't like that, you can step. I got I got lots of ways to do these. No excuses. You can do it this way. I like this full body movement right here. You can do lower knees. That's okay. Whatever you need to get that heart rate up. We've got 15 seconds here. Woo! <laughs> 10 seconds. Woo! Keep those fingers open if you can. A light grip on that towel. Woo! I'll take that low intensity. Woo -hoo. I'm going to sit and just show that low sitting intensity. Anybody remember what number five was? Jumping jacks. So lots of different ways to do jumping jacks. But we're going to take our full 10 seconds here. So jumping jacks with an overhead press. I'm going to start out high intensity. So it can look like this. It can look like this. It can look like this. Whatever gets you so you can move to get that heart rate up. If you're seated, it can look like this. Or you can do one leg. I got the adaptation. No reason not to move. Woo, this is gonna be my big one here, I think. We've got 30 seconds. This is going to really, it's in the middle, to really get our heart rate up. You can alternate like me too. You've got 10 seconds. Stay with this one. This is a tough one. Five. Almost there. I'll take that low intensity break. Woo! We're at number six already. 
or halfway through that first round. Your body will start to adapt to the challenge that you put on it. So this first, first round is tough. You feel really, really out of breath. But your body will adapt if you keep going. All right, we are doing power rocks. So that looks like this. Really working to the side. If you're seated, looks like this. If you're standing, come center, push left, come center, push right. If you really want to challenge, come off that leg. Everybody's different. Seated. Woo! 30 seconds. This is not going to be an easy workout. But you guys are tough. We know that aerobic exercise is the best way, one of the best ways to combat symptoms. 10 seconds, stick with it. We get that nice 35 minute, 35 second break. Oh, I'll take that. Woo! Anybody sweating? Everybody all right? Everybody good? Ooh, I'm going to need a drink after this round. All right. We are on exercise number seven, round one. This is our foot to ceiling. So seated, foot to ceiling. Or standing, foot to ceiling. Or knee to ceiling. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. However low you can go. Be mindful of your balance. Be mindful. If you can move with more vigor and only go to your knee, that's what I want. Nice and big. Don't forget the big piece of this. Think about punching a hole in that ceiling. Boom. We want to let that sunlight in if you're in Florida. 30 seconds. Woo! Seated, up, down, up. You've got 20 seconds. Woo! We've got this. Together, we got it. You've got seven seconds to get that breath. Come on. Woo! All right. We'll take it. All right, number eight. This is our squat. This is our squat. If you want to hop it, can. If you want to really practice that, if you've got a walking stick, you can do this kind of thing. Squat, or you can just squat with that stick if that is a balance issue for you. Or overhead. Here we go. If you're seated, it looks like this. If you're standing, squat up or squat overhead. You can alternate. Woo! Or if you want to jump, you can jump. Woo! If you do a little hop, that'll get you going. My legs are burning 30 seconds. You can just try a couple. Couple hops. If you're seated, looks like this. Woo! Got 20 seconds. This is a really hard one, especially if you're given a little hop. Or come up on your tippy toes. That'll challenge your balance a little bit. Seven seconds. This was a tough one. Woo! Woo! All right. 35 seconds. Uh, you can get a drink if you need to. We have one more in this round. Side stepping. You should feel that your heart rate is going up. Our last one is the opening of the hand. I want to see you're going to punch into that camera. 
So passionate. I want to see all those hands. You've got four seconds. All about the hands on this one. Show me. Open. 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 Open those hands. Let go of that stick a little bit or drop that stick. Open. If you're seated, I want to see those hands in the camera. Show me. Fling that water off those fingertips. Believe it or not, this is a tough one for 30 seconds. Make your work. Flip the water. Flip. Your hands should be bigger than your head when I see that camera. See, as I get closer, my hands are bigger than my head. 12 seconds. 12 seconds. Woo! Here we go. All right. Okay. We're going to take a long break here. So you have about two minutes, a minute and a half. Grab water if you need it, but keep moving. We're going to do that whole round one more time. What is your exertion level? One to 10. Should be, we want to see that six, seven, eight. We're going to keep resting. Get a drink if you need to. You've got one minute here. Keep moving. You can hear the ticking of the clock. Catch that breath. If they, that wasn't too bad, I saw such good work out there. We're going to do all nine of those again. We're about 25 minutes in the class. Lots of time. You haven't got that heart rate up. All right, keep working. You've got about 45 seconds. That was a long break. 45 seconds, get your towel. We're going back to sit to stand in about 30 seconds. You should be feeling really good. You've got 30 seconds now, and then we're going to go back to the high intensity. Nine in a row. I think we got this. That's a long break, a little too long. I got to time that better. Catch your breath. Feel strong. Everyone's moving well. Remember, all these can be done in the chair. All right, get ready. Sit to stand. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. Down, so down and up. Touch that, up. Touch that, up. If you're doing sit to stand, you can go forward as well. So if this is harder for you, go forward and up. If you're seated, you're going forward. So sit to stand, these are my favorite. If you ask any physical therapist who knows their words, sit to stand are the best. 30 seconds, stick with it, open those hands. If you're not working very hard, do more crap. Woo, 20 seconds. I am ready for that 35 second break. I can't believe it. Woo, keep going. 10 seconds, work hard. This is your work hard moment because you know that break is coming. That's why I like intervals. All right, whoa, that's why I love intervals. I only have to work hard for a certain amount of time. I know that break is coming. That lets me work harder, Woo. All right, you've got a push and twist that's next, so that push and twist. But you've got 15 seconds. Let's make that twist happen. Get those arms ready. Big movements, you've heard it before. That's what this is. Think about this as your battering ram. Here you go. Push, center, push, center, push, push, 
twip, twip. Get off that foot. Can you really squat? Right, center, left, right. Push it, really twist. Can you look behind you? If you're seated, looks just like it did standing. Come on, we've got 30 seconds. You are halfway there. Big, big, big. You can try pushing up if you want something different. Twist up. Woo! I love the big movements I'm seeing. Let's go. 10 seconds here. Don't stop moving. Five seconds. Here we go. Woohoo! That was awesome. Nice big movement. Woo! All right, our next one is our lunge step. So stepping forward, arms overhead. Stepping forward, arms overhead. 10 seconds. Let's work hard again. Remember, it's only one minute. That's what we love about intervals. Here we go. Step together. Again, to your ability. You can even put that walking stick down and really work on that lunge. That's why I love walking sticks. If you're seated, you can go side and up, side and up. Step together, step. If you're standing, let's lunge it. Woo! You've got this. All these movements we use in daily life, these are all power moves. Just adapted. Very functional. Functional fitness. Let's not waste our time with movements that we don't use. Six seconds is for the tough ones for me. Wow. Woo. Okay. Very nice. Should feel like you're breathing. Are you at a six? Who's at a six? Thumbs up. Six out of ten. Who's at a seven? Who's at an eight? Yeah. All right. That's what we want. Everybody with their own journey. All right. We have high knees coming back. High knees. Whatever that looks like for you. Remember here or here or here, holding on, or marching in place, whatever, if you're seated, can look like this. Woo! It's a lot of core work here. I'm gonna go big, go big and go home. That's what Michigan should have done, huh? Probably will get a couple of you. <laughs> I'm not a big football fan, but I didn't hear about that. 30 seconds. Come on, nice big. We love big. We got to drive, drive those movements, drive brain change. You are going to feel amazing after this workout. Woo! You've got 10 seconds. You might be tired. You might need your 20 minute nap, but you're going to feel great. Woo! Almost there. Load. We got another tough one coming. Jumping jack. I'm going to grab a quick drink. Feel free to do that. What does it look like for you? Jumping jack. Remember, up and over if you want to jump. Or sidestepping. Or if you're seated. It could be both out, it could be one, whatever version, jumping jacks, let's go. I'm going to try to make it that whole minute. I think you can do it, yeah. This looks really good. I see so much good movement. Okay, I didn't make it. <laughs> I'm going to go back. 
35 seconds. Let's work hard. Say no. Uh, beauty salon here, is it? We're not sitting. Woo! You've got 20 seconds. Work hard. You know that rest is coming. Woo! 10 seconds. I'm going to push it. Let's go. Whatever that looks like. You're seated. Okay, I'm happy for that break. How many of you are happy for that break? Woo! We're halfway through the second round already. Time flies when you're having a blast. Woo! Check out those arms if you need to, those hands. All right, we have our power lock, which is reaching up, center, up, center, up. Whether you're seated or standing, here we go. Rock, center, rock, center, rock, rock. The farther down you go, the more those big muscles will work, the bigger the heart rate gain you will get. Woo! Yeah, 40 seconds. I'm going to pace this one out a little bit. If you're seated, looks like this. Woo! This, the idea is side to side. Can you bring that leg up? A little bit of balance here. We'll come out on that toe. Woo, you've got 15 seconds. I ready for this break. How about you? I know how you all exercise. Maybe you don't need this break, but. Woo! Excellent. Excellent. All right, we got another full body movement. We're on number seven of this round already. Foot to ceiling or knee to ceiling. I love these because it's all about extension, getting you out of that flex posture. So these are some of my favorites. Good for me too. Here we go. All right, we're going to go down, looking up at the ceiling, down, looking up, open those hands. Notice my hands are open. Oh, I didn't go to the other side. Here we go. Down, center, look up, down, center, look up. If you're seated, down, look up, down, look up. Down, move those eyes. You don't have to look all the way to the ceiling, but look up toward where the ceiling meets the floor, wherever that is in your house, your place. We've got 20 seconds. Move those eyes. That's really important too. Toe toward the wall. Toe toward that wall. Toe. Shift your weight. Don't stay in the middle, right? And up, left. Okay, hopefully you're feeling like you're in that steady state that your heart rate is now keeping up with the demand that I'm asking you to do. So that initial miserableness that we felt at the beginning, now the heart's got like, oh, this person's going to be working hard for a long time. So it's going to stay, it's going to stay pumping for us. All right, here is our squat hop. So squat hop, just a little squat, push up, or use your stick, squat, push up, or squat, come on your toes, squat, come on your toes, squat, toes, squat, hop, squat, hop. If you're seated, it's forward and up, forward and up. Forward, you can even go on your toes. Forward and up. Forward and up. Squat, hop. Squat, hop. Could be just a little one. Or go up on those tippy toes. I know that seems hard. I know 
We got to try hard things. If you gotta hold on, hold on. That's okay. Gotta push that body just a little bit safely. Woo! Ten seconds here. All right, I'm taking that break. <laughs> Last one of round two. This is our hand exercise. So if you don't want to hold on to this, you don't need to. I want to see those hands big in the screen. We're flicking those. You got 10 seconds. I want to see, I should see a big bunch of hands in the screen. Get nice and close, lean in. We're flicking. And I step and flick, flick. You're casting that spell or you're flicking water or whatever, flicking that dirt if you like flowers. My heart rate is going to just come off. This is a lot of work here. You can switch legs, a little bit of coordination. You come up off that leg, this whole body extension. Or if you stay in place in your chair, give me, give me that. I'm gonna go back to step. I like that. Woo! I'm switching legs. Bigger, tight, with intensity. Woo! Woo! All right. Okay. We are on round three. We're gonna probably try to get through four, four of these exercises, and then we'll definitely cool down. So I'm not gonna stop for that long break. We've got 20 seconds. We are back to sit to stand. I think we'll have time to get through four exercises and then we'll cool down. Not gonna make three rounds today because I talk too much. All right, sit to stand. Let's push it. You only got four left. Here we go. Or if you're, yep, if you're sitting, you can even sit here and just push those arms up. How many can you get in 50 seconds? Woo! You should be feeling amazing. Did you know you worked this hard? I think you could. I'm never disappointed. And how hard our folks work online. Such a blessing to be here. 20 seconds. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Even if you're here, come on. You only have three rounds after this. It is tiring. Just keep moving, whatever it is. All right, taking that rest. Well done. We have the push and twist coming up. Just three rounds. And then we'll take a nice long cool down. And then you can email Angie and <laughs> tell her if you liked it or not. <laughs> Say, what is this chick doing? All right. You got eight seconds. It's our push and twist. You want something different? Push and twist up. So push and twist up. See my extension? Push and twist. Nice back straightening. If you're seated, looks like this. Whatever works for you. Really think about twisting. Look behind you. Move that head. The body follows the eyes. The body follows the eyes. If you look to the right, your body wants to go to the right. Keep going. 25 seconds. Woo! Now we're going to safely bring down that heart rate. Keep going. You can push to the middle if you want something different. Push to the middle. Look behind. 
you should feel like you get a little bit more range of motion. Because your heart rates up, your muscles are working up. Okay. Side stepping. Two more exercises. That is it. Two hard ones, but nonetheless, two more. We have our lunge step. So lunging and stepping arms overhead. So this, this, or stepping. All right, here we go. Lunge overhead. We talked about function. We do this all the time where we lunge and reach. We step all the time. We reach overhead all the time. Woo! Everyone looks amazing. Keep it up. Even if you just do the step, that's okay. If you need to hold on, just do the stepping. And it doesn't have to be a lot. Just shift that weight side to side if you're sitting. Keep it up. This is a tough one. They're all tough. 10 seconds here. Even if you slow down, just don't stop moving. Oh, yeah. Last one. Yes, they say. But it's a hard one. The high knees. High knees. Or you can do jumping jacks if you want to. Those are the next two. We're just doing one more for your choice. High knees or jumping jacks. Here we go. 10 seconds. This is it. Last hard work of the day. Then we're coming down. Here we go. All right, high knees. Let's work. Let's work. If you're seated, looks like this, or even marching, or stepping. Lots of different things to do. If you're standing, though, let's get those knees up. Hold on to something if you need to. Get those knees up. Spending a long time on one leg. That's really, really good. Getting off of both of those legs. Be safe. All right, I'm going back to arms. Let's go. You've got 25 seconds. And that is it. That is it. These are always such hard workouts, these interval ones, because it's a challenge. We just don't do it very well to get our heart rate up. Four seconds. We are done. All right. I want you to take that 35 seconds. The goal now is to bring that heart rate down. Deliberately taking deep breaths, deliberately slowing even your side stepping. Please don't stop moving. If you're seated, at least move your arms because we don't want to just stop while our heart is racing. We want it to come down gradually. Thinking about that deep breathing. All right, where were you? Did you get to a six? Thumbs up, six out of 10. Did you get to a seven? Let me see the thumbs. Seven is great. Anybody get to that eight? Holy moly. Eight out of 10. That's awesome. Woo. Yep, start slowing it down now. You can drop. Well, you can keep your stick if you've got it. We just want to, I'm going to keep this going for just another 40 seconds seconds here. Side step should feel like your heart rate's coming down. You're deliberately inhaling, taking those big breaths. Woo. 
If you're sitting, you're just moving your feet side to side. 20 seconds here. Ooh, hello. That was, uh, that was good. I'm pretty sweaty in my 64 degree basement down here, sweatier than I thought I would be. All right, nice and slow. Good, let's take this stick. We're gonna bring it up. You did a lot with those arms today. So I want you to, a couple different ways you can do this. Take that stick and you can set it on your head and stretch those shoulders back, squeeze those shoulder blades. If you have more flexibility and you wanna bring it down, just be careful. If that's too much for you, bring it in front and squeeze those shoulder blades. I'm gonna be right about here. This is where I feel it, straight across those shoulders. Take a deep breath in, feel those lungs expand. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, squeeze those shoulder blades. One more time, I'm gonna bring it up. Drop it down, deep breath in. Hold it, stretch. And breathe out. Take that stick, let's just go up and around. This is just real gentle. Up and around, keep those knees unlocked. Don't keep them straight. Up, a lot of trunk twisting as well. Let's go the other way, up. Gonna create that circle. Up. That feels fantastic. Up. Good. Let's do some of that twist. Just nice and easy. We did this in a high intensity piece, but now we're just stretching and folding. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to the opposite side. Five, four, three, two, one. That feels really good. All right, I'm gonna sit for this last couple. We're gonna do the hips because you worked really hard on the hips. So we love our figure four. So if you can bring that, I'm doing my right ankle over my left knee. If that does not work for you, you can go here or you can even leave that leg straight. So I'm gonna bring this over, gently pushing on that knee that's bent, leading with my sternum. So I'm not gonna be hunched, not gonna do this. Leading with my sternum, you're not gonna get as far, that's okay. Leaning forward and really probably feeling it across your fanny there. If you have some flexibility and you wanna try to get down to those forearms, you definitely will feel it right up the side of your leg. Probably no sharp pain. Woo. Just let this relax here, kind of melt into it. If you're really flexible, I'm not. You can go down and try to grab the head and heel. Today I am not flexible. And while you're here, let's look up. So I'm gonna take that same hand that was pushing on the knee. I'm gonna look up, it's a different kind of stretch. Looking up and down, let's do that a few times. Keeping that leg crossed, looking up. You're gonna feel that in your side, maybe in your neck. Let's switch. Cross that opposite leg. Again, remember you can be here, you can be here, you can be here, whatever works for you and where you're at. Pushing that knee down. We did a lot of leg work, a lot of leg and butt work. So all of those crouches, all of those sit to stands, all of those lunges, it was a lot. Lean forward. If you can get your forearms down, great. If not, just go where you can, leave with that sternum. 
try not to hunch. So expect to be a little bit sore, kind of in your butt, in your hamstrings, the back of your legs, the tops of your thighs, maybe even in your ankles. That was a lot of leg work. Even if you're sitting, that was a lot of leg work. If you're not used to doing a lot of overhead arm work, you can reach down a little bit if you want here. Take a deep breath here. Lean into that. Breathe out. Good. Take that hand that is next to your bent knee. Let's bring it up and twist. And you'll probably notice that one side doesn't twist as well. Always seems to be the case. Looking up. Bringing that back down. Let's try that again. Look up. Really feeling that side body stretch. Okay, we've got just a few minutes here. Let's work on that neck. So just easy, easy, easy. I don't like circles necessarily. So I'm just gonna have you bring it looking to your ear, but go in front of your shoulder a little bit, drop. So you're kind of, you're actually looking at um, your right knee. Your nose is kind of, I'm sorry, your nose, if you side that to the right, your nose is kind of looking at that left knee. So you're kind of twisted a little bit, which is a really nice stretch. If you want more, you can pull it. Taking nice deep breaths here. Five, four, three, two, one. Bringing that up. I'm going to side bend my left ear toward my left shoulder, but my nose is going to be looking to my right knee. Feeling it right through here. So side bend, left ear to left shoulder, but make your nose point to your left, to your right knee. Feel that stretch right through here. If you want a little bit of over pressure, a little bit stretch, you can do that. Five, four, three, two. One. All right. Wonderful. Let's take some deep breaths in forward. We're going to collect all our blessings and pour it over us. Open those hands. Collect all the good things in life. Pour it over us. One more. Breathe in. And pour it over. You did it. Awesome job. Awesome job. That was not an easy workout. Well done. Yes, great job. They were moving. <laughs> Pretty intense. <laughs> I, I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. Amy, thank you. That was excellent. Awesome. Yeah. I'm glad you liked it. Now we got to hit the shower. Now we got to hit the shower. <laughs> That's right. Well, I'll be interested to see how you feel if you come to tomorrow's yoga. It is it is yoga. It is stretching. It's much more low intense. So if you come tomorrow, I'll see you there. I'll see you tomorrow. We can okay. stretch out. We can stretch out all the soreness from today. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. That was good class, Jamie. Yeah. Great. Good job. Thanks very much. You're very Bye. welcome. They had more in them than they know. See, I, that's exactly <laughs> what it's about. All right. Enjoy your day, you guys. Have a blessed day.